Hi! Meron akong ituturo sa inyo. Siguro naman ay narinig nyo na ang Photoshop or pamilyar kayo sa Adobe Photoshop. This awesome and powerful program or software is helpful for all kinds of business and personal use. Medyo nakaka-intimidate or overwhelming sa unang tingin. But learning how to use Photoshop can be easier than you think because it is not just for professionals. Now, I will teach you kung paano gamitin ang software na ito. Pero, ano nga ba ang Photoshop? Adobe Photoshop It is a software that is extensively used for raster image editing, graphic design, and digital art. It makes use of layering to allow for depth and flexibility in the design and editing process, as well as provide powerful editing tools that when combined are capable of just about anything. Counting history lamang, ang software ay nilikha ng magkapatid na Thomas and John Knoll in 1988. Makalipas ang isang taon, ibinenta ni Tito John ang program na ito sa Adobe Systems, kung saan kinilala na ito bilang Photoshop. At kalaunan ay naging industry standard na ito for raster graphics editing. It is published for both Mac operating system and Windows. Now, let's start by opening Photoshop on your computer. Habang gumagawa tayo ng poster, ay ipapaliwanag ko din sa inyo ang mga function ng tools na gagamitin natin na makikita sa left side toolbar. Kung ikaw ay gumagamit ng old version ng Photoshop, walang welcome screen na lalabas pagkabukas ng application. Instead, you can click the file menu and select new to create a new image. We can create name of the project. Next, choose your canvas dimensions. The canvas is your working area and you can make it any size you'd like. For this demo, since we are going to create a poster, we will use the custom preset with the size of 3300 by 5100 pixels. Now, change the resolution. Resolution determines how many pixels will be in one square inch of the image. The more pixels in an inch, the more detailed the image will be. And for this demo, let's choose 72 ppi or pixels per inch. Next, choose the color mode. May ilang color mode tayong pwedeng pagpilian depende sa gagawin natin project. The color mode determines how the colors will be calculated and displayed. Choosing a preset also automatically selects your color mode, but you may need to change it depending on what you are creating. This is one setting which can be changed after the image has been created without too much consequence. I describe ko lang ang iba't ibang mode of colors. First is the RGB color. RGB color is the standard color mode. This is appropriate for images which will be viewed on a computer as well as most printed documents. Next is CMYK color. It is another common color mode but usually only used for printing. It will probably be best to create your image in RGB first and then convert it to CMYK before printing since your computer will automatically display RGB colors. Grayscale. It is another common option and is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Instead of working with colors, you'll be working with shades of gray. With any color mode, the higher the number of bits, the more colors will be able to be displayed. Increasing the bits will also increase the file size. So, only use a higher number if absolutely necessary. So now, let's choose RGB color with 8 bits. Let's select the background. This will mainly determine if you're starting canvas on a solid color or transparent. A white canvas, which is the default for most projects, will make it easier to see what you're doing. 
A transparent canvas can make it easier to apply effects and produce backgroundless web images. Sa demo na ito, we will use a transparent one, then later on, pwede pa rin natin itong lagyan ng white o iba pang background color kung kinakailangan. And lastly, click OK to create your canvas. Ngayon ay makikita mo na ang iyong workspace gamit ang canvas na ginawa mo. Let's start by importing an image material na gagamitin natin sa paggawa ng poster. For example, we have this photo. To start with, simply drag the photo or image from the file location to the Photoshop application. You can resize or rotate the image to the size of your canvas or to your desired size. Click and drag the anchor square na nasa mga kanto at sides ng image to resize or click and drag outside of the image hanggang sa makita mo ang curved arrow to rotate the image. Ngayon ay mayroon na tayong image sa canvas natin. Now, let's continue by creating a new layer for our text by using the layer tool. A layer can be used for an image, text, brush strokes, background colors, patterns, and filters. Para siyang patong-patong na sheets of glass na maaari natin gamitin upang makagawa ng final product. Each sheet can be modified individually without affecting the project as a whole, which can save tons of time when making edits to individual elements to your graphic. Ito yung pinaka-importanting element ng Photoshop na kapag naintindihan at natutunan mo kung paano ito gamitin, I'll promise, they'll make your life much easier. Saan ito makikita? It has its own module at the bottom right-hand corner of your Photoshop screen by default. You can access it by clicking Layer on the top of Menu Bar. Tip! Always name your layers to keep them organized especially kung ang ginagawa mong project ay kailangan ng maraming layers. Now, how can we add or delete a layer? From the top menu bar, choose Layer, New, Layer. Then select Layer. The selected layer is highlighted in blue. Now, to edit a specific part of your image, kailangan mong iselect ang specific layer. Kung mapapansin mo ay mayroong eye symbol next to each layer, click the symbol kung gusto mong i-hide o unhide ang specific na layer. You can also duplicate layer or group of layers by simply dragging it to the Create a New Layer button or right-click the layer and choose Duplicate Layer or Duplicate Group. Enter the name for the layer or group and click OK. Alright, now that we have a new layer for our text, let's create a text by using the text tool. The text tool lets you add custom fonts to your database. At magbibigay ito ng access to advanced font settings that give your text some serious style. Ang toolbar na ito ay matatagpuan sa kaliwa malapit sa baba. Once you click the text icon, lahat ng settings at font options will pop up at the top of your screen. These settings let you change the font, font size, and space between characters, height, width, color, and style. Siguraduhin lamang na selected ang layer ng text na nais mong i-edit. So, let's create a text. Now, let's use the Move tool. This is really a basic tool that allows you to move individual elements of your graphic. Kung nais mong mag-move ng elements a specific layer, make sure that this specific layer is being selected. With that, you can reposition images, text, and other design elements. It is located on the left at the top. Click the Move icon from the left-hand menu bar and simply drag the object na gusto mong i-move. Kung lahat ng objects sa isang layer naman, I simply highlight the layer and use the Move tool. You can also right-click the object for additional options. Now, if you want to scale, rotate, 
move and flip things, you can use the free transform tool. We can use the shortcut Ctrl T or Command T on your keyboard to initiate the free transform and check out the options that pop up at the top of your screen. Hold the Shift key while transforming to maintain the proportions of your elements. Let's create another text on a new layer. If you want to edit the text, simply click the text tool and select the text you want to edit. Isa pang basic tool na maaari natin gamitin ay ang zoom tool. The zoom tool lets you zoom in close to certain areas of an image and zoom out to get more of a bird's eye view of what is happening. It is located on the top menu bar. Choose view, zoom in, or view, zoom out. To use the zoom tool, either select the zoom options from the view menu or to use the keyboard shortcut. Hold Alt or Command and press plus to zoom in or minus to zoom out. And lastly, for this demo, I am blending options. Sa options na ito, ay maraming features ang mapagpipilian to enhance the look of your graphic. For example, you can use the outer glow effect to make the letters appear like they are glowing. Or you can use the drop shadow effect to add a shadow to your letters. Matatagpuan ang option na ito sa menu bar sa taas. Choose Layer, Layer Style, Blending Options. Or you can also double-click any layer to bring up the options for that particular layer. To use the blending options, first, select the layer you want to apply your blending options and effects to. Then open up your blending options and choose the one you'd like to apply. With a variety of options available, you can achieve a number of great effects to finalize your graphics. Note. If you want to add logos or other image, just follow the same steps by dragging the image from the location folder to your canvas. Now, we are done with our poster. Let us now save it. To save a file with a different name, location, or format, do the following. Choose File, Save As. Choose a format from the Format menu. If you want to save your Photoshop project, choose the PSD format. By choosing it, pwede mo itong i-open ulit anytime kung mayroong kang gustong palitan, ayusin, o idagdag. For this demo, we will select the PNG file. Specify a file name and location. In the Save As dialog box, select Saving Options. Click Save. A dialog box appears for choosing options when saving in some image formats. So, basic lamang yan dahil limitado lamang ating oras. Napakalawak ng Photoshop at kulang ang isa o dalawang araw kung tatalakayin natin lahat ng tools and functions nito. Pero sana ay marami tayong natutunan ngayong araw sa paggawa ng poster gamit ang Photoshop. Maraming salamat hanggang sa muli.